Hey. <laughs> Hi guys, it's Pure Gear and today, well, we're about to get on the helicopter and we're going to go to our teammate, I think it is, that we're going to. Like, we the same mission that we clicked on in the last video, where we clicked on this guy. I think it's Halstead or something like that, and then, once we spoke to this guy, because if we can team up with him and then go and do some missions, that would be good. Because these enemies are not easy to defeat. Now, I'm trying to keep the videos 20 minutes, half an hour long, but obviously it's a the new game stories are quite big so the missions aren't just as simple and I was just about to bail out them but I've got no parachute right brown homestead right st steady landing steady 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 and oh, we've lost our helicopter well oh, hey right there's a crate up there we'll get that in a minute is this our teammate? I don't think it is you know doesn't look like it I'll speak to the guy anyway. Are you Chief? Who wants to know? Name's Nomad. A couple of your friends said you were looking to investigate all of the drone activity around the mountain. Sure am. I'm fed up and I can't stand it no more. The drones came in slowly at first, but now there are flocks of them. I can't have my friends being put in danger like that. Heaven forbid they get killed or whatever. So, you were putting together a posse to investigate. I was going to, but it looks like you're far better equipped to deal with drones than I am. Hell, you might even be able to figure out what the deal is with that infernal siren sound. I suppose oh, I can take oh, a look. So Anything else I should know before I go? Yeah, I ain't the first one who thought about heading up there. A few homesteaders have already wandered off that way. If you see them, just make sure they're safe and such. Sure. Now just point me in the direction of that mountain. Oh, sure thing. It's just west of here. Basically, keep going until you see Fortune Lake cascading down into the valley. Got it. Thank you. Okay, then. Let's go mountain climbing, I guess. Right. Great. Okay, nice little gun. Well, say little. Quite a big gun, I assume. Right, let's go and check this crate thing that's upstairs. Just a room with just a crate and that's it. Bit weird. Okay, scale tech credits. I guess that's money. I'm assuming that's like the currency. No, don't sit in that one. Right, let's get out of here. Okay, this vehicle feels like the driving that I was talking about last night. AKA, the first video that you would have seen today. How the driving didn't feel all clunky and feel like I'm just drifting like that. But now all of a sudden I'm in this vehicle and it feels like it is. So I don't know if it's just that one vehicle or it's set for a different train each vehicle, I don't know. Keep moving away from the massive gunner. So I mean it feels really weird the controls. Although this company, Ubisoft, may drive a San Francisco, one of the best driving games I ever played. And they make the game feel really clunky and bad with the vehicle controls. I'm not saying make it like test uh, one of the really good drive Francisco sort of drive mechanic just a little bit better better than what it is. Right, that'll do. Ditch there. Quite a big enemy presence. Quite a lot of drones too. Oh, they have guns! Oh, God! What the hell? The others didn't have guns. The others didn't have guns. Oh, 
Go, 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 bro. You can't really cover from something that flies, can you? You can't really run and hide. What the hell's that? Looks like a little tiny drone that's just stopped. Right. We're going in through here. Quite a lot of hidden caves in this game. I like that. It's kind of cool. Well, that way isn't accessible, so we're going to go through the heavily... Alright, suppressor on. What I'm going to do, because I'm in a cave and I don't need a sniper, I've not really used a sniper much because it's not that brilliant for me. Um, going to use that. Who are they shouting to? Because they're not shouting, they've not seen me yet. Take them out. Stay focused. Get Drop out. those hostiles. Okay, that works. And that's just gets to get Oh, there's an actual drone flying over, you can see it on the map. Oh, a sniper. Looks a bit better too. Right. I really could do with a flashlight, that'd be kind of cool. Kind of helpful. Here we go, there's going to be a load of them around here, you can just tell. Oh, that's typical, isn't it? I have like one round of the gun. I'll take out the massive gunner last, purely because he takes time to get to me. And I think I've got some grenades, please tell me I've got one grenade, great. Gas grenade might have to do at this point. He's wearing a like a whole costume though, isn't it? So is that even gonna do anything to him? We might have to do a tactical swap here with weapons. Now I know some people probably think this is really unrealistic and obviously the military people that play this game and the ones that want to simulate military stuff will be like, oh this is so unrealistic, just keep changing your gun. Yeah but we're playing a playthrough, we're not trying to be 100% realistic. I wish I could be, but I don't have any mates that would actually want to do that that I can play with. Let's 
Right. Well, he's dead. Let's just make sure. Yeah, he's dead. Right. Let's have a look at what we can find in here. Right, was there another thing over here? I think there was. Have some water, mate. Ah, phone. Okay, let's carry on going through the base. They're dead. That actually looks like a ghost recon member. Oh god. Okay, it's kind of cool that, because I was sneaking up on it, it wasn't seeing me, and then all of a sudden, its senses obviously went off, I got spotted and ran for cover. Got no ammo. Okay, we do have an issue there. Whoa. The issue being... Oh, there is ammo now. Okay. Load up. It is literally just pitch black down here. Don't really know where I'm going. Just sort of going into the darkness. Nope, well that's not it. Now there was a little orange marker telling me to go up there a little bit, but here we go. This is the sound about to get shut off. So that's really annoying actually now. So yeah, this mission wasn't what I thought it was going to be. I thought we were going to be teaming up with our mate, but obviously not at the moment. Oh my god, the sound. 
Oh, I can hear properly. I can hear perfectly. It's not annoying. It's just right. That's what I need. There's going to be some enemies over here, aren't there? I think they're at the top, actually. Right, so 1.3 kilometers. How the hell are we getting out there? And is it out? Ah, right, okay, so it's there. Okay, so we need to get out of here, actually, then. Right, we'll join back when I get out of here, because this could take a while. Okay, guys, so we're back, and we're at this guy's sort of little base area that he's got going. We're going to let him know that we've turned that signal thing off. Around here now. Sure as hell is. I can finally hear myself think for once. What was the deal? Somebody set up a drone training exercise right in your backyard, complete with a maze and everything. Somehow, the antenna and receiver running the system got damaged. It let out a high-pitched frequency that summoned all the drones to it. Now I take care of the problem, so you should feel a whole lot safer now. We sure do. Thank you for everything, Nomad. No problem. Okay, guys, that's for again this video. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, press the notification button down below for instant notifications. And we'll see you guys in the next video where we're going to track the main guy that we're after. Not the main bad guy, the guy that's going to help us all, hopefully. So I'll see you guys in the next video.